Hello everybody. Today we'll be discussing about biomedical NER and how we can build an API out of chat GPT and using the LangChain. The theoretical part like what does uh, biomedical NER means? So it, it, it's more sort of if you have certain sentences you need to extract different symptoms. For example, I have headache for two days. So here we have symptom headache and duration is two days. When we see the different parameters, uh, we have Age. symptoms, laboratory reports, historical data. So there are n number of uh, you know entities we can extract from our so, data. And uh, now we are we going to build up. API using Langchain and ChatGPT API. Okay. Okay, so to start with, so I'll be building, I have already built an app. So I'll be, uh, you know, going or walk through these, uh, the different steps, which different steps, which I followed so that you can have a clear understanding of what we have done till now. Okay. Okay, so uh, let me walk you through the steps. So the very first step would be to get the API key from the OpenAI platform. So for the API key of uh, OpenAI, you need to go to the platform.openai.com and you need to create an API and get the API key from here so that we can have access uh, to the ChatGPT API. Okay, so next step would be like to create a virtual environment. So for creating a virtual environment, this is the command. For example, I'm creating the virtual environment uh, with a name biomedical NER environment. So I'll, I'll just use this command and it will create an environment. So after that, we need to activate this environment. For example, I have already, let me deactivate. So, okay. We'll activate, okay. Okay, then source. We'll go out to biomedical NER, bin, and then activate. Okay, so once I have activated, so it will be activated the environment. So you need to create a dot environment file. So here you can see like for uh, putting the credential and all. So we'll be using this dot env file to put the open AI key. So you can put the open AI key in the format. For example, this is open AI key. And this is the corresponding key which you have extracted from the OpenAI platform. Okay. Okay, so now uh, this step has been done. So next step would be like to use uh, this parser. So I have created a biomedical parser. So using a Langchain. So Langchain, uh, if you know about Langchain, so Langchain is a platform uh, which provides like a high level wrapper around OpenAI API so that we can quickly build applications around uh, uh, chat GPT API or GPT-4 API or any other API. Or maybe using some open source uh, large language models such as Llama 2 and other other models. So in this way, Langchain has been uh, providing a support for building applications. So I'll be using this Langchain. So in the Langchain part, the first step would be to, like, to import these libraries. So Langchain provides chat OpenAI, so it, it's actually the chat GPT model. And uh, from the prompt, we need to create a custom prompt template. And for the output parser, for the output parser, we are using response schema and the structured output parser. So uh, the reason for using this response schema and structured output parser is to get the, uh, you know, getting the output in the form of JSON. So instead of writing a, uh, instead of writing different uh, commands and prompts to generate the result in the form of, uh, you know, JSON, we will use this uh, response schema and a structure output parser to get the responses. Now, uh, creating a class and now we'll load this model and load the parser. So when you go through this uh, function, you can see it is loading the chat open AI function with temperature 0 and uh, the model which we have selected this GPT 3.5 turbo 
Okay, so once uh, this model has been loaded, we'll go through this uh, parser part. So parser, uh, we, we have defined different uh, parameters. For example, we need to get uh, symptoms, duration, disease, medication, medical test. So I'm using uh, these five parameters to test this API. So if you want to use more, uh, you know, entities and all, for example, uh, I have shown you the different configuration. So these are the number of uh, uh, entities you, you, you can extract. So this is an open source model, biomedical NER, and it has the configuration with uh, maybe, I think, uh, around 83 entities. So if you require these all entities, you can use any of these entities, but it doesn't require you can use the number of entity which you want. Okay, coming to this point. Okay, so now we have defined the response schema. So after defining the response schema, we'll use this response schema and uh, you'll pass this object like uh, to the, this is structure output parser. And after that, we'll use a custom template. So custom template is a kind of a, you know, prompt engineering where we define the input and uh, what exactly the input needs to be given to the chat GPT model and what exact the output we are expecting from that particular model. So this is, this is some sort of, uh, you know, uh, instruction kind of thing. So this is the key. Symptom is a key. Duration is a key. Disease is a key. So we need to define what exactly we need to extend. We can define this thing in details as well. For example, I have used like extract the symptom from the text, output them as Python list, if not available, written in the form of empty list. So this is one of the examples. So similarly, we can use any of these examples. And if there is any variation in the output of the result, which you are expecting, yeah, you can quickly go through these, uh, you know, instruction and change it. Okay, so once the template is ready, we, we will use this uh, template in the form of, uh, you know, custom model. So we'll pass this, uh, create the template and we'll go through this now extract biomedical entities. So whenever some input comes, it will format the input in the form of a custom template and it will pass this message to the chat, of, uh, you know, chat functions. Or maybe chat is one of the model which we have loaded earlier. So, okay, as you can see, this is the object of chat open AI. Okay, so once it is loaded, we will pass this response to the output parser because we want the response in the form of a structure which is in the form of JSON or maybe output display. So th this is the response. Sorry, really, we got it's all out. Okay, so I think that's it uh, for this particular use case. So let me quickly run this uh, application, okay. Find ten between biomedical and ER. And so, okay, so I have taken an example of like, I have fever and headache for two days. So now the expected result would be like symptoms with fever and headache and duration will be two days. Okay, so now you can see that uh, we, we are able to get the symptoms in the form of list and duration in the form of two days. And other are empty because we do not have any entities related to disease, medication and medical test. Okay, so this is one of the example for directly using the Python script. Okay, now going through the API part. So this is the API. So it, it's a flask based API. So we have defined two function. One is the health check. So we're checking whether this API is live or not. And then another is the query part. So it's, it's uh, whenever we do some request, it will respond to the result. So it's simply straightforward. So it is getting the input parameter. It is a form data. So once we get the input in the form of textual data, we'll pass this to the, you know, this function and we generate the response. Okay, let me quickly test this as well. Okay, I'm trying to talk bytes. Okay, so let me check this first. Okay, API is live. Okay, let me might test this. Sh 
you can can see duration five days symptoms headache and fever you can change anything like i have felt in fever for five days you cough and fever five days okay okay now as we as we can see this api is ready so we need to port this api to the docker container so for that uh, we need to look at the instruction part so the first step would be to install the docker second would be to create a docker file and uh, if if you want to see the docker file let's open the docker file so docker file is uh, some sort of you know instruction given to the docker uh, so that it will create a directory and install the dependencies and all and it will generate the docker file so it's 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 more sort of like this is the app directory and we are copying the every content over here into this directory and after copying this content we will update the pip uh, package and then we'll install the requirements whatever we have to run this application and after that like uh, we will run the command python app.py okay let me stop this in Okay, so now docker is running. Okay, so I've already created the docker file or docker container. So if, if you want to build the docker uh, container, you have to run this command docker build hyphen D and the name of the docker uh, image. So biomedical NER and the dot is like the root directory. So if you run this command, it will generate the uh, docker file okay so for running the docker we have to run this command so i have used it for interactive mode if you do not want to use this uh, you can just run simply docker okay docker run hyphen d detach mod port and then name the docker file Okay, Docker has started, so I'll like to check Docker TS. Okay, we have one Docker container running. So let me check with this uh, application now. Okay. As you can see this is live. Okay, let's change the example. Who have tabs? Who? On two weeks. Doing. On so I have. We down chess. Can you not sit in? With it. Okay, now we can see the symptoms list has cough as a symptom. Duration is a two weeks and the medical test is chest x ray. Okay. Okay, I think uh, this is it. So as you can see, how we how quickly we can build uh, API or any R API by using the Chat GPT API using the Lang chain. So even if we can or we can deploy this system to the cloud as well. Okay, thank you very much for watching this video.